everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Meredith E. Phillips. I'm a writer, reader, and bunny mama, and this is a kind of belated April wrap-up and May goal planning video. <laughs> so if you've seen several of my videos from April, you will know that it didn't go great. I was feeling all kinds of ways. I'll link some videos below and in the cards here if you want to check them out. I don't really want to rehash everything here. I feel like I've talked about it a couple different times. Do I need to talk about it again? I don't think so. It was basically a fail of a month. I didn't do a whole lot of writing. I did pretty good the first week of April and then it just sort of fell apart and I never really got the momentum for camp nano back. So writing was basically not happening at all. And again, if you want to see a few more details on that, you can check out the videos I have linked in the description. I was able to still keep up with my YouTube video posting and my posting over on Instagram. So that was positive. I also hit my reading goal for the month. So that was also good. I read five books and it was a kind of interesting little mix. It was different than the things I usually read. I read three fiction books and then I read a craft book, which I reviewed here. You can check that out. Highly recommend that craft book. I really enjoyed it. And I also got to read Karen Westwood's new release, a novella in Flash called Gold Fury. I very much enjoyed it. Highly suggest checking it out. I'm putting all the links to his videos and his Amazon page. It'll all be in the description below. I really enjoyed it. It was a very different kind of read for me. I don't normally pick up that kind of book, but I was like, obviously I'm getting this one. So anyway, very much recommend that if you're interested. So I was pleased with the reading at least. At least I did that. That was good, right? <laughs> And I also was able to do three live streams last month. So thank you very much to anyone who was able to come out for those. Those were really, aside from that very first week, those live streams were pretty much the only time I was doing any writing. <laughs> <sighs> oh, it was really not a great month, but at least I, I did do some. It just really was not all that great. I do want to kind of give you a little update since I didn't do a whole lot of vlogging and all that kind of thing. I want to give you a little update on where I am in project model rom-com. This book has kind of spiraled out of control. <laughs> there was a portion of the beginning that launches the characters sort of into the rest of the story. There were some plot hole issues. And so as I was going back through and trying to brainstorm how to get around or rework things so that there wouldn't be plot holes, the entire sort of course of the novel has changed. <laughs> So now I'm almost at a point where I'm wondering, am I just gonna need to basically rewrite the whole thing? I'm really going back to the very beginning. I'm trying to re-outline the book and I have learned something, I think from a couple past experiences and then this one has sort of solidified in my mind, hello, this is important for you as a writer. I'm saying this for me. I, I know other people do different things and that's fine. For me, this is the lesson I'm learning. And that thing is that when I'm outlining before I write a first draft, I need to write complete outlines. There's a lot of parts in my outlines that are very complete and very detailed and that's great. And then there's other times while I'm outlining where I'll get to a section and I'll kind of be like, mm, I'm not really sure how this is going to work out, but I'll figure it out when I'm drafting. I don't figure it out while I'm drafting. And then it just is a big plot hole because then I just sort of write around it and it, it doesn't connect. So what I've learned from this experience in particular is that when I'm outlining, it's got to be a detailed outline. I don't don't think I can write a complete first draft that is decent, that works as a story without that kind of a really detailed outline. Yeah, so I'm re-outlining at least the first portion of the book. I think I'm gonna end up outlining basically the whole thing over again. There are portions of the first draft that I think are fine and I'm pretty sure I can carry those forward into a new draft, but there's new story elements that I'm thinking of, new conflicts, ways to raise the stakes and the tension, which would be good, right? And so I'm redoing all of that. We'll see where I can get with that in May. And this is a little late, by the way. I'm filming this, what's today? I'm filming this on May 2nd, so by the time you see this on the 11th, I will hopefully have been able to do a little more work on the outline and things like that. We'll see how it's going at that point. But for now, as I'm filming this at the very beginning of May, that's where 
things stand. I will say, I have been feeling better about writing in the last couple days, which has been exciting. I actually spent a long time yesterday, May 1st, working on not <laughs> my novel but on something else and I did a vlog on that or like a little video I don't know if it's a vlog but I did a video on it last week so if you haven't checked that out I'll put that here it's different for me and I've found it really exciting and really fun to work on so I'm excited to sort of see how that ends up and turns out but my big writing goal for May is to just start writing again on a consistent basis not daily I want to work on my writing I'm feeling better and so I just want to work on it. I don't want to set a time goal. I don't want to set, you know, work on it this many days or get ahead this much. No, I'm just going to work on it at the pace that feels like something I can manage. Does that make sense? I don't want to push myself. So I'm not gonna. So that's sort of the big non-goal. I don't even know if that's really a goal. It's not really measurable, but that's what I'm gonna be working toward working on, I guess. I do wanna mention a few things that are going to have an impact on the channel and on my own personal life schedule. We are going to be going out of town for about a week this month, and I'm not quite sure yet what that's gonna mean for the videos. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna miss at least one video on a Friday. I might miss two videos. I, I don't know. So just FYI, if you see I don't post something, we were out of town and I didn't have time to do a whole video and I'm not gonna push myself to like do a whole bunch of stuff ahead. I just, I'm just not gonna do that. So that's happening. I'm also not gonna be doing any live streams this month. I feel like I need a little bit of a break from the live streams. Um, I do like doing them and they definitely make me do work, which is great. <laughs> but with this trip and a few other things we have going on, it felt overwhelming to add that into my schedule. So I'm not going to. Hopefully in June, I can be back sort of on a regular schedule for myself. We'll see. There's a few things right now that are just like up in the air and I don't really know how they're gonna land. So yeah, no live streams this month, but hopefully in June, I can get back into those. For personal goals, we did finally get the final door installed. I'll put a picture in if you care to see. It's in the area that goes in between the living room and kitchen. Anyway, it's gorgeous. I love it it keeps bugs out and it keeps heat out. We bought these doors back in January so I'm very happy that that was installed. We don't have any other house projects at this point that we have like prepped or we've purchased already or they're going to be installed like we're we need to not do that this month especially with this trip we have to go on so that's kind of all on hold I don't know what we're going to do next we kind of just need to see how a few other things work out like I said and then maybe in June or July we can kind of start working on some other things I do have a journaling update for you I've stopped journaling <laughs> which is kind of weird because there's been some things happening especially at the end of April that were upsetting and and sudden and so journaling seems like it would have been a good outlet for me but I didn't want to journal I didn't want to do it so instead in the morning I've been getting up and watching streams over on twitch which I love I found a really great community over there and it's been so much fun just chatting with them in the mornings so that's what I'm doing with my day and I'm happy about it but yeah I haven't been journaling so my journals are still right here on my desk they're right there in front of me if I want to grab them I can I don't care to right now though, so I'm not gonna force myself to do it. So yeah, this is kind of a quick little goals update video, but that's sort of where I am with things. Let me know how your camp went, if you were participating in Camp Nano last month, or how your April went just in general. I'd love to know. Let me know what your goals are for May, or things that you're hoping to work toward in May. Let's hope that May can be a better month. I feel positive about May. I'm feeling good, so we'll see how it goes. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I post videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. You can also find me over on Instagram at Meredith Phillips Writes, and you can head over to my website, meredithephillips.com to sign up for my quarterly newsletter. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. So you're gonna be watching this over a week, well over a week after I've filmed this. What am I saying? My big writing goal for, oh, what was I gonna say about that?